And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed has God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Jesus. So this is our history that we're reading about. We had a king. Our first king was Saul. After Saul, we had David. And the Lord loved David so much that he said that when I manifest myself unto my people and come into the world, I'm going to come in as a child of David. I'm going to come into this world through the lineage of David. Now, after David reigned, his son Solomon reigned. So now Israel had three kings to rule over the entire nation. That was Saul, David, and Solomon. Now, let's go and take a look at Solomon. Let's go into 1 Kings, the third chapter. 1 Kings, chapter 3. Because we had 15 judges and three kings over the United Kingdom. Something that we don't know nothing about. Never knew that we had a king. Only thing that we knew about was the fields in Mississippi, Arkansas, and Georgia, <laughs> and the white taskmasters and the whip. We ain't know nothing about no king. If it was, it was King Louis of England or somebody, or somebody else's king. First Kings 3, we're going to start reading the verse 5. 1 Kings 3 and 5, because this is Solomon's, David's son. And let's look at the goodness that the Lord showed toward King Solomon. 1 Kings 3 and verse 5. All right, my brother, go ahead. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon. 1 so Kings 3 and verse 5. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. Now here we have the true and living God coming to one of our forefathers and asking him to ask of me what it is that you want. Whatever you want, I'll give it to you. How would each and every one of us like to have that happen? <laughs> we got some things that we'll ask for, don't we? But let's go and see what our father Solomon asked for. Go ahead on and read. And now, O Lord, my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered, nor count it for multitude. Go ahead. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad, for who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon had asked this thing. So this is what Solomon asked for. Solomon asked for an understanding heart, to be able to judge the people that the Lord set him over. Give me Wisdom to be able to discern between good and evil, so I may judge your people righteously. And when he asked us of the Lord, the Lord was well pleased. And let's see what the Lord did. Go ahead on and read. 11. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. So he have given one of our forefathers wisdom that exceeded any other ruler before him or down unto this day. But they want to act like we're a bunch of buffoons, <laughs> like we, you know, was uncivilized and ignorant. But we have attributed to a member of our family a person to be the wisest man that ever lived. But we don't know nothing about that because somebody else want to take the credit for that. And they want to downplay us. And we're going to find out how all that came into play as we go on. 
But continue to read. 13. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall be not any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. So look at what the Lord did. The Lord said, I'm going to give you what you asked for. I'm going to give you wisdom and understanding beyond all men, but then I'm going to turn around and give you what you didn't ask for. I'm going to make you richer than anybody in the world. And I'm going to show you how rich Solomon was in a minute. Go ahead on and read. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my judge, my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And if, after I'm going to give you this wisdom and understanding and riches, I put a stipulation in that. If you will walk in my ways like your father did, I'm going to lengthen your days. I'm going to give you long life too. But the long life is going to come with a stipulation. You're going to have to act like you got some sense. You ain't going to live forever acting a fool. Because I ain't got no patience for that. Now, let's go into the fourth chapter of this First Kings. First Kings 4, skip down to the fourth chapter. And uh, we're going to read verse 1. And then we're going to skip. First Kings 4 and 1. All right, my brother, go ahead. So King Solomon was king over all Israel. So this is our third king who was king over the United Nation. Now skip down to verse 29. Skip down to verse 29 and continue. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezraite, and Heman, and Charcoal, and Darda, the sons of Mahol. And his fame was in all nations round about. This is how wise Solomon was, one of ours. Not only was he one of ours, he was a king, one of our kings. This is what's happening when we were kings. Now skip down to verse 34 and read verse 34. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. Not only did the common people marvel at Solomon's wisdom, all the kings of the world came from wherever they were at to Solomon to hear his wisdom. Now, once Solomon reached these heights, he decides he wants to do something for the Lord. 